Hey everybody, how's it going? As the round 9 of the Season 1 Championship is winding down, as you can see we got 6 days and 12 hours and some 36 minutes left on this round. We have the one final uh, special event that is, of course, a limited series featuring brand new Chevy Corvette C8 Z06. All right, so it's a limited series as you can see. You got seven days to complete it, 15 tiers, 45 trophy events that you have to complete. Um, and for completing, of course, you get to win the brand new Chevy Corvette C8 Z06, which is worth some 600 gold if you're to buy it outright. There is a showcase discount since it's featured in a bonus series um, called Corvette Clash. You can find it in the Season 1 of the Road Collection, along with a couple of other uh, Corvettes. So, you know, that's the term, Corvette Clash, right? So, And since it is a bonus series, series with multiple cars, there is a, a, what do you call it, a showcase tier? Uh, featuring this car which means once you unlock that you get 20% discount offer for like two days or something like that so if you take advantage of that you can get the car for 400 480 gold but still winning it through this special limited series will be still cheaper because all you're getting or your all, all you're spending to win this car this round is by putting in upgrades you know um, and, uh, so, and the car is essentially free afterwards, right? So, um, yeah, the usual. Anyway, the victory points, you also get to win 5,250 victory points. So depending on how far along you are in the season or in the round, uh, your rewards might vary. And then, of course, we got 50 gold plus 250,000 racing dollars because this is a road car. So your prize uh, choice of currency here is going to be racing dollars and gold. All right. So let's check into the series and find out what we got going here. So seven days. So that's plenty of time to complete 15 tiers. All right. Now, Chevy Corvette uh, Z8, uh, Z8, I mean C8, Z06 Limited Series. What do we got? Earn the car by 100% completing the special limited time series with an incredible red line of 8600 RPM. The Chevrolet C8 Z06 is a street machine that even outshines the iconic Stingray. Uh, bold claim, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, here's the breakdown of rewards in terms of, I guess, victory points that you can see. Um, speaking of uh, the rewards and the cost, so this series, here, I'll unlock the series real quick with the gold. So I can show you exactly what is a little goofy about this event. There are a couple of things that's uh, unusual with this limited series, which has been kind of a trend in the current version 10.5 in the round 9. Like, for example, when we ran through the New York City e pre, the Formula E event, uh, we didn't get any instant offers, like, at all, right? You pretty much had to, you know, run, just grind it out, getting, you know, tuning setups as you go. Um, or nor did we get any instant service offer on that one, right? And then, of course, they kind of messed up the Ferrari F40 LM um, limited series. I mean, that one we did get instant upgrade and instant service offer for the correct car eventually, but... You know, that kind of happened 
midway through the event right so some goofy things happened here and as you can see here we normally get both three hours of instant service which we do have but also instant upgrades but no not in this event we only get instant service offer for three hours and no instant upgrades as you can see which is a bit of a bummer uh, but uh, all that it means is we just have to kind of switch the order of how we run through this event so uh, base PR of this car starts at 60 as you can see and in order to 100% complete this event to win this car, you do need a peculiar PR of 71.7. I call it peculiar because getting three upgrades across the board on this car gets your PR up to 71.6. And at the moment, there is no PR bug where the decimal point gets ignored. Yeah, we actually had that at one point in the game. <laughs> but uh, that's since been addressed so you there's no such bug anymore um, so that means your upgrade scheme I mean you can get three upgrades across the board and just tag on uh, one more gold upgrade essentially on the body get it up to uh, four upgrades on the body which will cost you additional 105 gold um, costing you a total of 456 gold so that's about the cost of uh, running through this limited series so that's one way to do it um, and certainly in terms of uh, wait time for racing dollar upgrades since we don't get instant upgrades on this in this event that's perhaps a little bit quicker way to get around to it um, but it does cost you a little bit more gold than the cheapest method um, and I will go over the cheapest method right now so to and also if you go with the three upgrade uh, three upgrades across the board plus extra fourth stage upgrade on body you're ending up with a PR 72.1 so that's a little bit higher than what's required and uh, you do spend um, 15 gold more than what's bare minimum. So let's talk about bare minimum. That's because, you know, that's how we roll here. <laughs> so in order to meet exactly the PR 71.7 required with the least amount of gold spent, um, you basically have to max out engine. So... 53,100 racing dollars for stage one. I'll just use gold to skip it right away. 60 gold for stage two and 119,400 racing dollars, which will take 12 hours. Notice that stage one upgrades call, uh, will, you know, they are four hour wait time, which means uh, about, I want to say seven ads that you have to watch per category right and there are seven categories so that's a lot of time to a lot of ads to watch so um for this event the way i would do it is i would just get the upgrades do other stuff four hours later when you come back stage one upgrades will be done of course stage two upgrades are instant get those done uh for all categories except suspension suspension you only need one upgrade the stage one upgrade because we're gonna max out engine right so this method of uh, following this particular upgrade tree we do spend a bit on engine because we're gonna max it out and of course engine is kind of an expensive category so like stage four here cost does cost 140 gold but it does unlock the next racing dollar uh, upgrade which does take a full day so this is one of those upgrades i will watch a few ads at the beginning to kind of chop it down uh, to a little bit more reasonable amount of time and then maybe just let the last bit just kind of run but anyway so you max out engine 
get all five upgrades there. And then uh, the remaining categories, except for suspension, you get basically three upgrades across the board, right? So we got that st stage one racing dollar, 55 gold for stage two on drive train and 111,100 racing dollars under 12 hour upgrade on the drive train get that completed right so three upgrades on that uh, another three upgrades on body 46 gold is the stage two body upgrade and then suspension as i said we only need one upgrade there and then exhaust kind of the same idea here 50 gold is what the second stage gold uh, upgrade cost is so three upgrades on exhaust which maxes out same for brakes three upgrades maxes this one out and this one costs of course a little less 40 gold here and then the final category tires and wheels uh, three upgrades here as well and this one is of course 50 gold category as you can see exactly 71.7 and that total cost is 441 gold and 1 million hundred sixty seven thousand five hundred racing dollars right and a total of our uh, one day plus 16 hours of waiting time essentially on the upgrades right if you get them all kind of at the same time uh so yeah get those upgrades done then i would start running the event itself so you can you know you don't have to waste your three hour instant service time on waiting for the upgrades to be done right um so yeah so that is the way i would recommend um anybody who wants to win this car with the minimal resources spent right now with that being said if you want to make some um get the 100 percent completion on the bonus series corvette clash uh this car's featured in this is the only car that can meet the pr requirement and the pr requirement for that bonus series is uh, 73.7 so in order to meet that PR requirement you do have to max out body and you do end up having to get those extra gold upgrade on suspension so it needs to be um, yeah so essentially you're spending additional uh, 150 gold here so 105 on the the stage four body upgrade plus the the racing dollar tier five or stage five upgrade on the body so you max out body and suspension as i said you need to get it up to stage three so stage two costs you 50 gold brings your p up to 73.1 and as you can see stage three uh, racing dollar upgrade 101,900 motors uh, racing dollars does get your PR exactly up to 73.7 right so 100% um, completion of the bonus series the cars featured in this is the upgrade tree that you need max out engine body and all remaining categories you need three upgrades across the board and that'll cost you the total of 596 gold. So that's additional 155 gold than the limited series. And then uh, since you needed to get a couple of extra racing dollar upgrades as well, it ends up costing you 1,468,000 racing dollars total. So that's 300,500 racing dollars more than the limited series. And if you got extra gold to burn you can max this car out for by uh from the bonus series um pr of 73.7 
you can spend additional 360 gold by getting that final drivetrain upgrade. 130 gold there. Final suspension upgrade, which costs you another 120 gold there. And then don't forget about the last category, tires and wheels, which also cost you some 110 gold. So for additional what? 360 gold, you can max out the car. Right. And uh, that is additional 515 gold from the limited series completion uh, PR cost, right? So that is uh, not cheap for, not for this car. I mean, rewards limited series. This limited series pays you 50 gold, so it's not really paying out that much. Um, so net cost, if you follow my upgrade scheme here to meet exactly PR 71.7 required, uh, it's going to cost you what? 391 gold is the net cost and then as I said if you can uh, take advantage some of the whatever victory point rewards you can get then of course it brings down your net cost by that much and uh, even with a PR 71.7 you should be able to complete some 75% of the bonus series the cars featured in so there's some another like I think some around 40 gold available so that all brings down your net cost closer to probably like 300. So that's what I would consider possible uh, cost of this car ownership. All right, so that's the upgrade cost. Now uh, for the remainder of the video, we'll just kind of look through the uh, series itself and see what kind of events we can expect in this series. So here we go. Tier 1, we got Elimination at Monza Road Course. We got Speed Record at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. And the Tier 1, we got the Cup at Daytona Road Course. We're starting off with a two laps. And of course, no PR requirement for the Tier 1, but the two laps around Daytona Road Course is the longest event in tier one so i'll probably start with that because uh that three hour instant service offer gets triggered at the end of basically as you finish the first event anyway on to tier two we got autocross at catalonia grand prix endurance at hokenheim grand prix and the cup for tier two takes place at silverstone grand prix Another two lap cup. This one requires PR 62.1. And tier three, we got a drag race. This one at Porsche Test Track, long on road circuit as usual. We got speed snap at Berlin circuit. And the uh, cup for tier three is at Le Mans 24 hour circuit. Two full laps. That's a long race in this car. Um, PR 63.2 is what's required. All right, and that takes us to the 25% com completion tier. Tier 4, we got head to head at Suzuka Grand Prix, single lapper. That's a decent length circuit though. Speed record at Daytona Road, uh, road Course, so that's also a full lap. And uh, tier 4 cup is at the Brickyard. Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. It's going to be a three lap cup with a PR 64 even required. Now, um, so for completing, of course, tier four, that is your 25% completion, which the reward includes um, what, 750? Uh, you cannot see it, I guess. Okay, well, it pays 750 victory points. 5 gold and uh, 25,000 racing dollars, right? With a PR64. Now, uh, you may be wondering, what's the racing dollar upgrades alone PR on this car? Well, funny you ask that because it is, as you might guess, 0.1 PR point shy of 64. So, Racing dollars alone will get you up to 
And since there is no gold upgrade that is uh, 5 or less gold cost, um, yeah, there's no free gold available in this series. If you're in it, you're in it to win it. So may as well kind of go all the way. All right. Anyway. Up next, tier 5, we got Autocross at Dubai Grand Prix. All right, and Endurance at Silverstone National Circuit and the Cup at Melbourne. And this one's going to be a three quick laps. Uh, PR 64.8 required. And tier 6, we got Hunter at Mount Panorama, so that's a full lap. Endurance at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. So it's an endurance, so you're target distance will vary depending on how uh, your margin of victory up till this point and then the cup for tier six is at Porsche test track long on-road circuit three laps PR 65.5 required so the cup events in this limited series not exactly what I would consider short um, I mean having the 24-hour circuit cup so early on and not just a single lap it was a two lap cup that that kind of sets the pace doesn't it all right up next tier seven we got head to head at daytona motorcycle course it's going to be a single lapper as you might guess uh we got speed record at catalonia national and the cup for tier seven takes place at laguna seca three laps with a PR 66.2 required. So 66.2 is the is what you need to claim 50% completion reward. Uh, since you need to win two gold trophies in tier 8. So you can get that through completing speed snap at Nürburgring Grand Prix and drag race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, road course one. Right, and the 50% completion reward includes a thousand victory points, 10 additional gold, and 50,000 racing dollars. So, there you go. And, uh, well, you want to get past tier eight, I'm assuming, where you have a cup uh, at spa, three laps with a PR requirement 66.9. So, yeah, it's not short race, is it now? All right, tier nine, we got endurance at Porsche test track, short on-road circuit, followed by autocross at uh, Bathurst, Mount, pa uh, Mount Panorama, and the cup for tier nine at Dubai National. It's gonna be a four short laps with a PR requirement of 67.5. On to next tier, tier 10, we got head to head at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit quick single lapper there uh, followed by elimination at Daytona motorcycle course so it's a timed event and the cup for tier 10 is going to be at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix circuit three laps with a PR requirement 68.2 all right on to tier 11 we got speed record at the Brickyard road course speed snap at Catalonia National and a cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix. Three laps with a PR requirement 68.8. So that is your 75% completion PR since um, you need to get through tier 11 and win a single gold trophy in tier 12 to claim the 75% completion reward. Uh, so you can get that through Endurance at Spa or Hunter at Silverstone International. All right, and the 75% completion rewards include 1,500 victory points, 15 gold, and 75,000 racing dollars. All right, and the final quarter of the event, we got, essentially, uh, got to get past tier 12, which uh, means you need to get through the Cup S uh, Suzuka Grand Prix. Three lapper, PR 69.5 required. All right, so yeah, a lot of uh, three-lap cup at full-length Grand Prix circuits in this event. 
you know, or longer. <laughs> anyway, tier 13, we got autocross at Laguna Seca, head to head at Dubai Grand Prix. So that's of course a full lap. And the tier 13 cup takes place at Hockenheim National. It's gonna be a five lapper, PR 70.2 required. And takes us to the pen ultimate tier, tier 14. We got elimination at Berlin. Uh, drag race. Well, I think we, that's just the second drag race in this event, isn't it? So that's not too bad. This one taking place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix, followed by the cup at Catalonia Grand Prix. It's gonna be a four lap cup, PR 70.9 required. Catalonia, a little bit shorter Grand Prix circuit, right? But you know, they added a full extra lap, four laps, so it's gonna be a longer race. And that takes us to the final tier, tier 15, where we can find speed record at Manza Junior course. So that's a pretty short uh, lap. And we got a Hunter at Porsche Test Track Long On Road Circuit. And the final cup at Mount Panorama. And this is going to be another four lap cup with the final PR requirement 71.7 .7 for the win. Uh, uh, just to recap, and that's gonna cost you some 441 gold to meet that PR requirement. And uh, yeah, you have to max out engine, get three upgrades across the board, except for suspension, where you only need to get one. Just the first racing dollar upgrade, right. So anyway, so there you have it. So that'll do it for this video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.